What is up everyone, Predator3081 here and I'm back for another episode of Underrated, Overrated, Underpowered, Overpowered. Now this gun, this magnificent weapon, actually is pretty good. It is the L86LAW, which is the actual name of it. Um, it is a light machine gun and it's decent and I'll tell you some really awesome features about it. So, the technical actual name of it is the SA80 or the LA5A2 and uh, it's a assault rifle or a light support weapon so it's kinda like um how should I, like the AUG because remember in Modern Warfare 2 the AUG was in the light machine gun category and then in Black Ops it was in the assault rifle category so it can be either it just depends on the variation again right um, the place of origin is the United Kingdom and it's in service from 1985 to the present it's fought in, like, I think, uh, seven wars. The Northern Ireland War, the 1991 Persian Gulf War, Bosnian War, Kosovo War, Syria Leon, Leone, Le Syria Leone, Civil War, Afghanistan, and Iraq War. It's designed from 1970s to the 1980s, and the manufacturer is BAE Systems and big old buddy old pal Heckler and Koch. And it was produced from 1985 from to 1994. And there's approximately only 350,000 built. So that's not that many. I know, 350,000. Holy shit, that's... Oops. I, I just hit you guys. I think that's still a lot, but compared to guns like the ACR, compared to guns like the MP5, to other guns, right? Like, there's many, many made. There's millions upon millions of AKs made, right? And again, all these 350,000, maybe some of them didn't make it back from the war, right? Like maybe a guy died and then he dropped the gun and he, uh, like it just stood there and then like kids ran over it and then it just like, it just is not in a good condition. So all, like it just ends up just somehow just screw it up, whatever, who cares, right? Do you know what I mean? So, let's get into some Call of Duty statistics, as I like to call it. So, the LA6LSW is a UK-made light machine gun. It is a medium, low, low rate of fire, and medium recoil. So, this gun is unlocked at level 4. If I'm not wrong, then it is the first sub -mach light machine gun, sorry. Its fire mode is fully automatic and its damage is 20 at a distance and 40 up close, so 3 and 5 bullets, which is good, which is good, it's not bad. Its rate of fire is 750 rounds per minute, which is it's decent, right? It's not too fast, not too slow, right? Some submachine guns have a little bit slower, but 700 is usually the average, right? Um, compared to other light machine guns like the HK-21, which is probably somewhere around the lines of 500 or 400 rounds per minute. Um, its reload time is 4 seconds. Um, that is just across the board because by the time he pulls the clip in and he puts his gun back in place, he just, on the way for his gun to go back in place, he just pulls the lever on the side. Its so max ammo is 200 bullets, which is 2 mags. As usual, one on your one in your gun and one on your belt, which is a lot unless you're going for something like a Moab or like high kill streaks and you like to spray. Then yeah, it's it's not that much. With extended mags, you get 50 extra bullets, and totally with uh, without extended mags, you get three no four magazines total, one in your gun and two on your belt if you have Scavenger Pro. And as usual, extended mags does increase the number of bullets you get in the clip. So, how, oh, that's my iPod, how is this gun good, and, like, what makes it awesome? So, I know that you guys have probably seen the Team Martin video about the L86, where he talks about if you put grip and thermal on it, and you run the specialist support package, specialist strike package, sorry, you, it will be like a ACR, Modern Warfare 2 ACR. Yes, that is true. If you do put the thermal in grip and you use the uh, specialist because you get kick and stability, which really helps you out because when you get the specialist, you get every single perk in the game. If before it was that if you had it pro, before you got all the perks pro, and now it's if you have it pro, you get it. But even if the perk is not unlocked, you still get it, but you just get the stock perk, right? Like you, you just get dead silence. 
You don't get Dead Silence Pro if you're level 21, for example. Then, if you use that, it was it's good. Um, I usually like to use silencers on my light machine guns because they make a lot of noise. Um, so what I, I I'm not too particularly um, aroused by the iron sights by of this gun. So I like to use a red dot. Maybe you like to use a holographic. I don't know if there's a hybrid sight, but you never know. So that's about it for this episode, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please remember to leave a like down below. I would really appreciate all the ratings and all the comments. I read all the comments and I respond to as many as I can between certain hours because you guys know my internet issues and stuff like that. So, guys, please remember to subscribe if you haven't already up top. I'm Predator381. Ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day and a nice life as I close my sound recorder. UAV online. Enemy UAV spotted.